former Oxford School Board members coming forward to say the district ignored key training and protocols ahead of the deadly shooting spree, which killed four students. Tonight, we're getting reaction from the families impacted most by the tragedy that unfolded now nearly exactly a year ago. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. Tom Donnelly and Corey Bailey say a policy for dealing with potential threats was adopted, but then forgotten for years. They believe if the policy had been known and enforced, Ethan Crumbly would have been sent home instead of back to class. Paula Tutman will have a closer look at the specific claims and a new statement from the school board, but we are going to begin tonight with the first wave of reactions from the Oxford community. Sean Lay is live right now with that part of the story. Sean. Karen, those reactions extremely emotional tonight, and here's why. Some reactions coming from the parents, the mom and dad of Tate Meir, who was shot and killed in this shooting, and the mother of Justin Schilling, another victim taken from her that day. There was a playbook that should have been followed, and it wasn't followed. Buck Meir, the father of Oxford High School shooting victim Tate Meir, met with the whistleblowing former board members in an emotional meeting over the weekend. The former board members now coming forward, saying the district's own playbook to stop a shooting was not followed. And they're not really worried about the, the families that lost a loved one and worried about the kids that were injured physically and mentally. It's just, it's just a full on cover up. Jill Suave is the mother of shooting victim Justin Schilling. Without full transparency, how can we prevent anything? It's beyond agonizing for us to have to wait a full year to have the details of what led up to this, what happened to our children. It's absolutely disgusting and offensive. Attorney Ben Johnson represents the Meir and Schilling families in a lawsuit against the Oxford School District, saying the suit is meant to hold school officials accountable. Where were they back then? Thank you for coming forward now. Where were you right after these events for these folks and their families and their other children? and everybody in Oxford Community Schools. I think this is hopefully going to kind of break the dam down a little bit and get some water flowing because nothing's really been flowing. By flowing, he means information and transparency. That's Buck Muir, the father of Tate Muir. He also tells me he was at that meeting yesterday, Devin and uh, Karen, with the whistleblowers. Very tough to hear this information, but he says this is just the start of the information. He believes much more to come. Back to you. It's been so much time has passed, and we still don't know everything. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. So